and hello there everyone, welcome back to another video, it's me Eclipse and today I'm going to be testing Bitdefender Total Security against unknown samples. So sadly we only have 94 samples because uh, it somehow turned on the antivirus when I was logging into my freaking uh, account, yeah. So we're gonna just, you know what, again, I I'm not really good in Bitdefender, so... I don't know where the heck the quarantine is at all. Like, I found everything except for freaking quarantine so far. Except if it's somewhere here. No. It's just not. I, uh, wh where is it? Okay, a dark team, very nice. I'll have dark team on. But, like, I still don't know where the heck is the. I still have no idea where the heck the. Is there even a quarantine on Bit Defender? I don't know, let's check it out. So, what I see, no, this sucks. Turn this off, please. Um, I mean, okay, that's fine. Status of it, that's fine as well. You can have that if you wanna. Now we have all other things, which, okay. But like, damn bro, no quarantine? That's, that's a bit extreme. <laughs> no quarantine, at least I could find. Wait, except if I just go ahead and yeah of course it's turned off yeah as you can see it detected a bunch of I'm gonna show you which it detected and then I'll go ahead and so yeah antivirus I just picked up a ton of these which is kinda poop it sucks yeah and it detected a lot of things sadly so lock bit was even critical infinity lock which is also critical like it's fine I don't really care because I'm going to right click scan all of these anyways I swear that was 94 before Oh my god, it kept blocking them. You know what? I'm going to scan these with Bitdefender. <clears throat> we'll see what we're left with. And then I'm going to say how good this is. Like, when I'm going to see what it blocked, then I'm going to be able to say how good this program actually is. So let's go ahead and scan this. And as it's scanning, I'm going to see how much things it's going to block. So if it blocks everything, it's a, uh, it's completely flawless. If it's gonna miss something, I'm going to run it, and then we'll see exactly what's gonna happen. So, yeah, be right back when this is done. Okay, so um, I am back and it detected 92 out of 94 items in total. So this is a very very high detection rate, almost like, I think this is like 97, 90, 98 actually. So yeah, like 98% detection ratio, you can see all of these getting detected. So. We actually have a ransomware, really. Just realize there's there's a ransomware in here. Let me let me find that again. I swear to God, I saw ransomware. Yeah, right here. Two issues left. So yeah, 
I'm going to choose action to uh, delete. So I'm going to delete all of these and I'll be back. So they have blocked this as a clean sheet pretty much. But then I'll grab second opinions and stuff and we'll see. What I'm seeing, I don't think they even executed. Okay, attack to the threat, huh? Okay, that one was blocked. How about the other one? Yeah, yeah, it was in pro as it was in the CPU for a bit. But they both got blocked, so These two got detected, that's the point. It had a hundred percent detection ratio, please just quit. Amazing. There we go. So it doesn't matter, these two got detected, so probably I couldn't delete them because Bitdefender is annoying. But well, that's it, Bitdefender did a great job. I know the test wasn't really as smooth, but I don't see any malicious behavior. It did a great job, but now let's see what our second opinion scanners have to say about it. I'll be right back when I grab it. Okay, let's run Hitman Pro. Hopefully Bitdefender is not going to freaking block it, because I know it has pretty pretty annoying policy with this kind of stuff. Oh, that was an update, alright. Please, if you see anything else that's not out of desktop malware, or if it's from shared, or if it's from C, that's not really, not really something you need to look at. Only these two, if it detects, and any other traces. So if it detects from quarantine, if it detects from shared or a C folder that's not valid, then please, please, if you see those, please ignore them. Just ignore them. Alright, so I don't really want to wait for uh, ESET to finish, I will take way too long, but all of this, let, let, let's just close that out, okay, all of this you can see uh, the path, everything that's on this path is basically irrelevant, so literally everything on this list is on that path which is irrelevant, because this is all of this stuff from my ransomware folder, which I didn't touch at all, so... Alright, uh, what do I have to say? It didn't detect anything, actually, because if you look, only this, that's actually in the... You know, this is the only thing that's actually in the... Folder, which is a false positive. Everything else from CSC, this stuff, this is all, nah, this is all irrelevant. You don't have to scream at me for having so much of this stuff infected because in fact it's 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 not from the system as at all. Let's stop this scan because we know we know what we know how it is. We don't need 
a ton of explanations. So yeah, Bit Defender is really good. It left nothing but these two, which basically bo both were blocked. So have nothing to say. It was great. Not as smooth as Kaspersky or Komodo or you know some other products, but it's good. That's what I'm going to say. So thank you f so much for watching. Merry Christmas and have a nice rest of the evening. And also, see you guys in your next video.